Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to create a Node.js server with Express.js and Socket.io. That's going to allow us to respond to HTTP requests as well as WebSocket requests. So I'm just going to initialize this uh, project right here with yarn in it dash y. And I'm also going to add Socket.io Express to this project as well as Helmet. Helmet is basically like it configures your server and it makes it so it has some basic security set up for you so that's pretty you know useful in almost every situation so i want to go in this package json and just uh create a script so we specify the scripts and it's going to be a it's called dev and it's just going to run nodemon on my index.js file so we actually have to create an index.js and here let's import express And then we instantiate our application using the express app initializer. And so we want, we don't want to just want to listen to request on our express app, but we want to make a server that takes both X, um, HTTP and socket IO request. So to do that, we can create a server like this const server equals require HTTP. So whatever, uh, we're going to access the HTTP module and we're going to run the create server method on that and pass in our app. So when we pass in our app, it's basically saying we're creating a server and every request that goes to the server that's HTTP is going to get passed into our express application. And so now we can make the, that same server take WebSocket requests. So to do that, we're going to import um, the server from socket io so this is basically like um, an instance of a server that we can create so we can go here and do const io equals new server pass in our http server where uh, our socket io is going to be hosted on and it takes in an object as a second argument and here we can specify uh, the cores field which allows us to specify um, what other domain will this server be talking to so basically our server is going to talk to our front end. And in order to allow that, we need to tell our server where that domain is located. So it's going to be located at this moment at localhost 3000 because we're in development. And we want to make sure that credentials are set to true. So then all cross site cookies are sent over. Now we can do server.listen on port 4000 and just run. Uh, console log as a callback and it's going to say server listening on port 4000 like so and we could do io.connect or no sorry sorry not io.connect io.on on connect so when socket io receives a connection it's going to run this callback and we can leave that empty for now so right here we have a basic um, server set up and let's just um run some middleware through our express.js server so that means every request that goes to our express app has to go through any program that we supposed to specify in the dot use uh, method here so we want to use helmet so that means well first we got to import helmet my bad so const helmet equals require helmet so that means every request goes through the helmet program which basically um, does some security stuff for us they have a whole list of all the things they do on their uh, documentation. I don't have it memorized. So then we also want to do app.use express.json. This basically parses any JSON that's coming through to our express server and allows us to um, receive JSON and treat it like a JavaScript object. And we can just set up a basic route. So app.get slash takes in a request response and we respond with some JSON that says hi and so let me go over to our server let me run it so yarn dev and let me just go over to our server and as you can see here it says hi so yeah we have a whole um, express.js and socket.io server set up here for our next video where we start doing authentication so I'll see you then